Can I have your attention, please? Everybody move to the front of the stage. Please. And thank you. Why am I talking in this weird voice? <laughs> um, hey guys, I just want to say thank you so much for um, coming out tonight. It means a lot to me and I'm sure it means a lot to you. So. information on to somebody else and save their lives and uh, we've been um, touched on this tour with many stories of people coming up to us after or even before we do this demonstration and they'll tell us how they've lost somebody um, their mother or grandmother or something to breast cancer so it's something very serious and um, if you guys could just take a couple minutes and listen and it'd mean a lot to us so thank you give, give Rob a hand Okay, so like Rob said, one in seven girls, six, seven, one in seven girls will um, get breast cancer, which is a pretty high statistic. So um, it's important to listen up, make sure that you know how to do the breast exam, um, so that if by chance you were to get breast cancer, you could detect it early, which would increase your chances of um, getting over it. Okay, so it's really easy. The first step is basically just knowing your boobs. Sounds like a really funny thing, but um, no, not necessarily like that, but just know your boobs. If you know your boobs, you'll know anything that's irregular. Because the main thing is, is, if you know your boobs, you'll know anything that's re irregular, right? Make sense? Yeah. 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 Okay, so um, things that are irregular is definitely a lump. Um, irregular veins. You know, some girls have more veins in one than the other. It's anything that's irregular. Younger girls will have denser breast, um, breast tissue, so it'll be a little harder to detect, so you have to make sure that you do the steps very thoroughly. First step is get naked. Don't do it. But it's to get naked. Uh, a good time to do the exam is in the shower, or if you do it laying down on your bed, just roll up a towel and put it underneath you. So raise your hand. Put it over your head. That's fun, right? Now this next step, I don't know if you guys want to follow along. Maybe not, but... Uh, Basically what you do is you, you put all your fingers together and a, and a little guy like this. Everyone can do that. Looks like a little duck. <laughs> and what you want to do is you want to place them. You, first you want to locate your, your breastbone. Rob, show them where it is. It's not just the breast itself. It's underneath the collarbone right to the bottom of the breast and all the way into the armpit. So with your four fingers, you place them at the top of the breastbone. And you do three dime-sized circles. The first one is light, then a bit heavier, and then a bit heavier. And what you'll want to do is you want to work your way down the breast, and then never lift up your hand. What you want to do is do the three circles, and then walk your hand down to the next one. Another three circles, light, medium, and hard. Another three circles. And you want to work it in lines from the top to the bottom, and then work your way back up to the top, and eventually end up in the armpit. Right there. It's important for guys to know too, because a lot of times guys are finding the lumps in their girlfriend's breath, so make sure that guys know how to do it as well. Guys can get breast cancer too, so 
Guys, do it too. It kind of feels good, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like a massage. Um, the final step in the rest exam is the pinch test. Locate the nipple and pinch the nipple. If it's more tender than usual, or if any nipple discharge comes out, gross, I know, that's a for sure sign, go to the doctor. Um, it's important, like, again, to know your breasts. I know I'm, I'm saying it again, I want to reiterate the point, because anything that's not natural, don't be ashamed, just go straight to the doctor, because it's really, really important. Yeah, like Matthew said, um, it's again really important to know your body, know um, what's like going on in your body, whether it be um, lumps in your breast or um, just like moles on your body or whatnot, like skin cancer and whatnot. So, so many things that you can um, prevent by just like checking yourself out and um, going to the doctor, even if you like have the slightest like feeling something's not right, it's just go to the doctor right away. It's totally preventable. Um, we have the cards at the back, basically what Matthew's holding up. And if you go back there and grab one and keep it on your desk, do it like once a month. Um, and yeah, that's, that's another great way to stop cancer. So thank you guys so much for coming. Wait, uh, the, the, the best time to do it is 10 days after your, your cycle because um, during your period, as girls know, your breasts get a little tender. So um, 10 days after your period is the best time to do it. And again, if you have any questions or anything you want to talk about, come to the Safe the Cancer table. And uh, make sure you pick up one of these and make sure you ask us questions. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming.